Hello, welcome back to Software Dude. So caching is a critical component in system design, right? Which provides temporary storage of data for faster access upon subsequent requests, right? It helps improve performance, reduce latency, and manage load effectively, right? So today we are going to discuss a crucial topic in system design trade-off around caching. Like how do you do caching? We can do caching by using server-side caching or client-side caching, right? So we are going to discuss the system trade-off, system design trade-off between those two today. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you enjoy the video, right? So moving to server-side caching. So server-side caching is primarily caching the data on the server, right? So if you think of a system design, I mean, there are the clients and then there is a server. The server is the backend where the data and the business logic, data is stored, business logic is run, and client is the client who is accessing your website or your app right server side caching uh, in server side caching the data is cached on the server side right so what are the pros and cons of that uh, like the pros are it is centralized control right i mean it is easy to manage update you can invalidate the cache data right it is consistent uh, because it ensures all clients receive the same data because it is cached at one place right it reduces redundant processing because there is no need for repeated computation on the server because it's already stored in the server. It is more secure, right? Sensitive data remains on the server, right? It, it reduces any kind of exposure, right? Uh, what are the cons of it? The It has scalability issues, right? Uh, high traffic can overload the server. And if you have a multi-tenant system where multiple clients are using and your backend is, is stored in that format, it requires more resources, right? Uh, it has network latency, like network latency can can still be an issue as requests need to travel to the server it's not on the client's side where the data is cached right so it can still incur some latency and it's a single point of failure right because the entire cache data is at the server right so if something happens with the server then that becomes a problem and your entire cache can get uh, wiped out right so that's how server side caching uh, now let's look at client side caching Client side is just the opposite where you are caching the data on the client's device, right? So n number of clients, so you are caching the data on their specific device. Right? Multiple pros in this, it reduces the latency, obviously, because there is no network round trip to the server. Highly scalable, right? Because it offloads the work from the server uh, and handling more clients without additional, you know, uh, server resources, right? Offline access, because clients can access the cache data even without an active internet connection for example right it, it need not the request need not reach the server it can still operate the app can still operate from the client's cache data right however there are some cons here also which are data inconsistency right keeping this the cache synchronized across multiple clients that can be challenging uh, that's an issue when you are dealing with client-side caching and if you have a huge multi-tenant global system this can be a problem, right? There are security risks, uh, which was not the case in the server-side caching, uh, because sensitive data, you are caching it on the client's device, right? Which is exposed to security threats, right? And then there are storage limitations because it is limited by the client's device storage capacity, right? I mean, depending on whether they're using a laptop or a um, f phone, mobile, or what is the capacity, what is the storage, what is the RAM of the device, it will depend on a lot of factors on the client's uh, device, right? So let's look at the trade-off between the two, right? First is latency. Uh, obviously, server-side latency is high, like we discussed, client-side is low because uh, server-side, I mean, it can reduce the server uh, processing time but may introduce network latency like we discussed but client side significantly reduces the uh, latency uh, because uh, it is stored on the client's device the data is stored on the client's device scalability the server side scalability caching scalability is lower uh, but client side is higher because server side again you require additional resources as the eps or traffic increases right but in client side it distributes the load across clients right so which is which is better for handling large number of clients or users right next is consistency on the server side uh, caching it is easier to maintain consistency but on the client side consistency management can be complex because different clients different how you maintain consistency across different clients devices that can be challenging right 
security security on the server side is high obviously because uh, on the server side you you can store sensitive data because it is kept on the server and it is under your control so you can put guardrails as to how the data is going to be accessed and things of that so operational strategies and all but on the client side obviously it is lower because it is on the client's device it is vulnerable to attacks right so uh, security is lower on the client side uh, complexity which is uh, implementation complexity is generally simpler to implement and maintain server side caching because it is under your control uh, but it is more complex uh, for uh, for implementing client side caching especially because of ensuring the data uh, consistency and the security pieces right so uh, implementation complexity can be a factor which can help in deciding which kind of caching you want to choose and last but not the least is your use cases like when is uh, server side and client side caching used server side caching is used in dynamic contents right it is re resource intensive computations are all on the server side caching right but client side caching is more for static content like personalized data right i mean it can have regionalized data right it can have internationalization like those kind of uh, data which is which can be stored on the device for their specific cured uh, you know curated content right so from that perspective uh, uh, client side caching is uh, a better choice if that is your use case now obviously there is server side caching and client side caching but there are cases where you also choose a hybrid approach right hybrid approach is basically nothing but combining both the server side and the client side caching to leverage the benefits of both the worlds right i mean depending on the situation and if you are building a large scale application there are different needs and you will actually have to solve each kind of need based on each kind of trade off and different choices that you have and combining both of the server side and client side caching uh, using a hybrid approach can be one of the uh, one of the cases that you might go ahead with when you are designing your system right how do you do that you do that using edge caching edge caching is primarily done using content delivery networks right uh, cdns to cache the data closer to the client right that which is i mean your client can be global right if you are if your server and data is uh, stored on in us right your client can be from say india right now to take a round uh, trip of the request from us to india right i mean obviously it will take time so you can put some cache locations using content delivery networks closer to the client right which reduces the latency while maintaining the same level of you know central control so that is one way another way is using local storage uh, like index db is an example for offline capabilities and uh, for faster access in web applications uh, while syncing with the uh, server for updates right so the the local storage actually basically sits between the client and the server right and so which means that it is more usable for offline capabilities and faster access and uh, also while it keeps syncing with the server for any kind of updates right uh, now what are the use cases for hybrid approach hybrid approach can be used in high traffic websites right like for using cds for cdns for static content and server side caching for dynamic content right so that is one of the use cases progressive web apps right that this is increasingly getting more uh, uh, famous uh, day by day and using client side storage for offline access and synchronization mechanisms for updating data when when the device comes online are ways in which you develop progressive web apps and that is where you can also apply hybrid approach right so that is uh, it for system design trade off for server side and client side caching hopefully it was useful